It's personal between me you, and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. Okay. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire probably presents something the boxing game's been missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, I wanted to talk about uh, Jack Catterall because, you know, Jack Catterall, we know that he was screwed of his true place in history as the undisputed champion. And I acknowledge him. Honestly, I acknowledge him as the real and true 140-pound undisputed champion until Josh Taylor goes and sees him. So that's what it is there. But, you know, there's been a lot of uh, talk about what Taylor will do next. You know, he was supposed to fight Alberto Puello for the WBA title because he was his mandatory. He vacated the belt or they stripped him or whatever happened. He, he, doesn't, have, he doesn't have that belt no more. So that the belts are fragmented now. Um... The WBC has now called Jose Cepeda to become his mandatory, and now he's in talks to to to, to make an in-house fight with Cepeda for the um you know undisputed title, right, or for the three belts, right. So, uh, Jack Catterall caught one of that, and he had some things to say to uh, Josh Taylor in regards to his uh his 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 future plans to fight Jose Cepeda. He said the following, and I quote. Um, I do believe there's only one fight for Josh Taylor at one four hundred forty pounds, and that's against me. Ultimately, he cannot go and fight Cepeda, and if he does, then he is not a man of his word. He said he would have a rematch at welterweight or catchweight, but now he's decided to stay at 140 pounds. The fans are calling it, calling for it, I'm calling for it, and it's an easy fight to be made. So, uh, that's what it is. And, you know, Ben Davidson has said in the past that uh, the Catterall rematch is the fight that Josh Taylor wants, but then Josh Taylor's been kind of... Um, Singing a different tune on, on Twitter, you know, kind of uh, poking fun at Jack Catterall. Which really, like, look, you guys know Josh Taylor is one of, is one of my favorite fighters. Um, but I have to admit, ever since the Catterall situation and how he's reacted to it and how he's shown the unwillingness to want to get back in there and, and, and prove his worth and prove that he's better than Catterall, you know, I've really, 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 really um, lost a good amount of respect for Josh Taylor. I respect his achievements. I respect like the run to 140. I respect all that because he's, he's, he's a great fighter for, 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 for the role that he took to get to Undisputed. And I'll, and I'll never take that away from him and nobody can take that away from him for as long as he lives. But when he fought Jack Catterall and he lost and he acted the way he did and, and, and he's shown no willingness to, 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 to go, go to the smoke and go you know, try to fight Catterall, it's, it's a bad look. It's really a bad look. Now I'm not trying to I'm not trying to like shit on the Jose Zapata fight because the Jose Zapata fight is a good fight. Um, Jose Zapata is more than a worthy challenger, um, and I'm sure it'll be entertaining. But that's not the point. Uh, this is not even about really Jose Zapata. This is about doing what's right, fair, and just by a fighter that was worldly screwed by 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 a fighter that boxed the fight of his life, right? Boxed a masterpiece performance. Um, one pretty clearly, and not only was he robbed of being undisputed, but he was robbed of his undefeated record. He was robbed of seven-figure paydays, and um, that doesn't sit well with me. This, this isn't a normal robbery. This isn't like, you know, when a guy just loses his undefeated record. They, 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 they took food off this man's family's table. They took, they took a, a status that he rightfully earned of the sport away. And, and these are the things that fighters are... Um, are fighting for, you know, uh, that ability to take care of their family and, and do right by their family, you know, status in the sport, uh, so far as like being recognized as a champion or undisputed champion. Um, and you know, that's what it is. So until, look, until Josh Taylor really goes back and he fights Jack Catterall, it's going to be hard. It's hard for me. I, I haven't turned on Josh Taylor, but I'm just, I'm just being honest. It's, it's hard for me to support him the same way I once did because of the fact that he's so reluctant to fight Jack Catterall. You can't be from a, a place like Scotland where you, you know, the, the Scots are crazy. The Scots are down to fight anyone, but you can't be from a place like that. And you can't be the guy that's representing a, a country like that. And I love, shout out to the Scottish people. I, I love them. They, they, they support the channel. But you can't be like that if, um, if, 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 uh, you can't represent them and not fight Jack Cattle. That's all, that's all I'm saying. You know, I think the second fight would be a lot better because, um, in the build up for the first fight, a lot of people, myself included, we're just assuming that uh, Josh Taylor is going to go in there and beat Catterall pretty pretty soundly, um, you know. And a lot and a lot of us, myself included, were proven wrong. And you know, Josh Taylor was such a favorite of mine at one point that you know we had a Josh Taylor appreciation week the week of the Catterall fight, you know. Um, and it's crazy too, cause like 
he's been saying a lot of things. First, before the Catterall fight, he said that um, he was going to go to 147 to fight Crawford. Now, he, then he said he would give Catterall a rematch at a catch weight or 147. Now, then he said Catterall isn't getting the fight and he has to live with his loss. And now, he's fighting his mandatory. So, and, and the crazy thing is, all of this comes after the fact that you know, Josh Taylor looked weight drained. Like, how much time does he got at 140? He's a big guy. Um, you know, he looked weight drained the last fight against Catterall. So, you know, you can't stay at 140 forever at holding belts and not fight Catterall. Either you're going to fight him at 140, 140, or 147, or you're not. But either way, this has this score has to get settled sooner rather than later because Josh Taylor cannot be looked at the same until he fights Jack Catterall on rematch. And, and there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. So, uh, you know, you guys in the comments down below. You know, Jack Catterall putting that pressure on Josh Taylor to make the rematch happen. What do you guys think? Leave a comment down below. Make sure you guys take the time to subscribe. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me. But I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time, take care, guys. Thank you for watching another video on True School Sports, the home of boxing. If you made it this far, do me a favor and do yourself a damn favor. Hit that subscribe button and surely you will not be disappointed. You know, True School Sports bringing you the latest and greatest, the untouchable, you know, boxing content, interviews, news videos, breakdowns, live fight reaction extravaganza. We've got a great community of, of people here, boxing fans all over the world from America to the UK to Australia and on and on and on. So join the empire today. Hit that subscribe button. Take care and God.